Welcome to Toon Shivs. Today, I'll show you how to make a character run by rigging in Toon Squid. Let's get started. Step 1. Draw the character in parts. Break your character into pieces based on its moving parts. In this case, almost everything moves. You can create these parts directly in Toon Squid or use another app. Personally, I prefer Procreate. Step 2. Rename the layers. Give each part a clear name. It really helps when you start adding them into the transform hierarchy. Arrange the parts in layers based on what comes in front and what goes behind. For example, body overlaps, arms. Step three, set up the transform hierarchy. Attach the upper and lower body. Then connect the legs to the lower body and the hands and head to the upper body. Keep the hierarchy clean it makes animation much easier. Step four, break down the pieces into poses. I split each body part into two frames per pose, repeating this up to seven times. That gives me seven different poses, each with two frames. Why? Because as I move the body parts, the outlines often break. I fix those using the brush tool and fill colors. This way, it's a hybrid between frame by frame animation and keyframe animation. Step five, animate the movement. Now, rotate and move the arms and legs based on a standard run cycle or any reference you like. Don't forget to move the body slightly up and down for realism. Well, in my case, I've animated only one hand since the other one is holding a mic. Step six, fix layer issues. For example, here you can see the eyelid layer wasn't aligned with the head. To fix it, I just moved the eyelid layer under the head in the transform hierarchy. Simple and effective. Step seven, adjust the speed. Now the character is running. The run speed will depend on your frame rate. Higher frame rates create faster movement. Bonus tip. Try adding a noise effect to the character group. This adds subtle motion, making the run look more natural, similar to how our bodies move in real life. Place a background for your character to run in. Adjust the background speed using keyframes so it matches the character's run cycle. And that's it. Your running character is ready. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments and subscribe to Toon Shivs for more tips and tutorials like this.